Hello guys, so today I'm going to be showcasing the new weapon, it's called Geohunter, as this. So let's first um, focus on the moves when you buy when you buy a certain weapon. I just recommend getting about 200 silver, that should be good enough. Um, so it's first one when you buy it, it's called Crushing Strike, it acts as a feint. So feints are when you do this, you do your M2 move, but you feint them and you bluff them so causing them to parry but then you but then when the people parry and you don't act parry anymore you get stunned for a little bit allowing the enemy to combo you so this you need to use it as a feint as in when you use your m2 attack you need to spam the move that you the key that you've binded it to like so it's pretty fast and the good thing is it can go through block so it'll break it and stun them so they have to dash here's the thing if they're good enough, they'll just walk out of it, predict it, and then go dash in to, to get free combo. So this is my friend, he's gonna help me with um, the showcase. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you when he um I'm gonna show how it's going to break the block. So right, chat lag. Okay, so whatever, chat lagging, wait. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump and then he's gonna parry. See, as you can see, it went through his block because his weapon was immediately put down when he used it and didn't get pushed back. So, and also another thing to notice, it has the lowest cooldown of the the two moves. And after you do it, you can spam the M ones or the shatter move. So the shatter move is this. Basically, it forms a circle or an air radius around you, and anyone in that circle area radius will get hit, and it'll do you know okay damage. Um, this is a really bad move. I don't know how to say it. So wait, come here. Okay. So yeah, if anyone's under you, you can hit them, which is like the only good thing about it. But like, here's the thing: it has such a small radius that. People on the tippy tip will probably be able to hit you a few steps because the startup time is pretty, it's like pretty long. So, okay. When I use my shatter, hit me. Yeah, as you can see, he can push me back, but here's the thing. Um, if they if you hit if they hit you, but you can you can still hit them if you get your weapon into the ground because there's you get hyper armor after, but it doesn't really matter because the hyper armor does not last long and you can still get combo okay yeah see so yeah you'll you're probably gonna get hit like honestly um use this when you know they're like you know your opponent will start running circles around you it's pretty good to get them away but be careful it has a lot of end life as you can see here um yeah it has like that amount of ammo, so it's really, it's like really not good. So what I recommend is just spamming dash away. Do not try and combo with it. They will get the parry. You need to dash out of there because somehow they will be able to punish you if you don't get out of there for some reason, even though you hit the move successfully. I don't care. I don't know. So now we'll be moving on to the basic, the M1. It has a three hit combo. One, two, three, and then it resets. So the all the hits actually. They um they are very slow, so it's pretty easy to parry. And if when you parry someone, dash out of there. I it's the Zuhander is much too slow for you to count for them for it's much too slow for you to actually get an M1 combo if you try and pinch them after you get a parry. They will parry you, I promise you. So the M1s will knock a person back, as you can see. It knocks them back in a considerable way. And it has a pretty big radius. And as you know, when you swing a weapon in with any type of weapon, they have like a sort of like they leave a trail after them. The M2 looks like a lightsaber. Tell me I'm wrong. This does this not look like a lightsaber? It looks like some like it looks like someone's doing a trick of lightsabers. Whatever. So um, it's a side and then left to right and then overhead. It's pretty good. Now the M2, it's special. It's a two hit like a lot of weapons, but the first hit actually knocks them back. So. If they're like on the tip and they get knocked back, you're not gonna connect to the last M2. And if they're good and they have good react and they have pretty good reaction time, they'll dash into you and get a free ammo combo. So be careful, okay? If if they somehow um if you somehow hit them with only the first M2, just get get out of there. They're gonna come back to you, okay? 
Now, the M2 final hit is pretty good. Because you can knock them back and you can continue the combo. But I don't recommend it because I think they can parry. So that's literally all the Yohan there is. So I recommend using this with fast armor or just above average fast. Because this is a slow weapon. You need to become fast. So Because this is so, so predictable. And if you aren't fast enough, they'll be able to predict where your movements are and just parry you. It just it'll destroy you completely. Um, I recommend this combo. The, the new hat. The hat for speed and uh, new armor for like you know the health and that stuff so that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll probably just do more stuff later say bye bye